How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? Go, go. Hey, what's up? I just wanted to check in on you because, um, you know, I did a video yesterday and stuff and, um, I haven't been online and I know it's talking about I'm going crazy and I'm definitely convinced that I've lost my mind that I've officially left the building for sure. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so crazy. Um, you know it's so weird that I found out that I always find really weird, you know, um, it's so many things in life I find really weird, you know, like why would a heterosexual man want to be with a trans well, I and I'm not trying to start because I know some girls like, you know, I don't want a gay man, I want a um, heterosexual man because I'm a woman, I get that and stuff, but that anatomy, you know, when, when it comes to a straight man, I understand everything that, I know people say, well, gender is not about sex, I'm, I'm not talking about that, but we all know it gets down to that, and I'm talking about as far as being, um, you know, in a relationship and stuff, and I, I just, I just don't understand when you transition, why would I have to date a heterosexual male, you know? I'm not saying, you know, I'm just saying for my opinion, you know, my opinion. I'm not saying as far as anyone else, you know, because um, everybody's different. Everybody likes what they like. So when I say this, I'm talking about the way I feel, not about the way you feel, the way Jane or Tom or Mary or whoever. I'm talking about how I feel. I just don't understand why I need to date a um, heterosexual man. I mean, even though we know gay come a lot of ways, but anyway, the man said. You know, the thing about it is that when you do meet a heterosexual, mm, and I use the term loosely, he wants you to do all these things to him um, like a boy. He, and, and I watch guys say, well, you know, I want to find a girl that has no problem being, you know, being versatile and stuff like that. You know, to me, I feel as though, you know, if you are heading into the transition world, you're a transition becoming a woman. So I don't understand how we can transition becoming a man top. You know, and it, it becomes more sexual, more so than the, um, the act within itself as far as transitioning. And then the thing about it is like when I went to the hospital and stuff, you have to tell them what you are. You know, they had me down as female, you know, they want to find about my menstrual, my period, could I be pregnant, they want me to pee in a cup, oh, I'm trans, I said, oh, you're trans, oh, okay. Took the F, put it all, put an M, and to be honest with you, I can't get upset. You know why? Because the only way they could treat me is through the male anatomy. They cannot treat me for things that are not there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it always goes back to him. When I say him, I'm talking about the before versus what I am now. Allegedly, I've moved forward, but allegedly, I haven't moved anywhere. You know, when it comes down to who I am, and you know, and the thing about it was like, when you do transition and stuff, if, 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 I, if I was one of those girls who was super passable, you know, when people found out about me, but oh, that's a man, that's a man. You know, and the thing about that's, you know, and the girls like me who are not passable, that's the advantage that we have. Because we don't, we don't have to wear um, black hair, um, the blending policy. We can wear whatever we want. <laughs> we wear whatever we want because we don't got to worry about that though, because, because we're already out, you know, and that's, you know, and I know some girls may not, you know, I know some, this is my opinion. Because I know some girls want to be passable, some girls cry because, you know, you want to be passable, but if God put you in the world to stand out, boo, learn to stand out. And realize one thing, when you see a girl like me, that means to let you know, you was not for you to be alone. There's a lot of you girls out here. You know, and that's the appreciation you have to see your sisters like, oh, they're going to want me, oh, they're going to want me over there, oh, they're going to be wanting me there. You know, for the girls who feel like they're all alone, you got a bunch of your sisters out there. Sure, we made up the best, but, you know, we do the best that we can do, and, you know, and that's the thing about it. You should appreciate your sister. You know, in some cases, on some cases, you know, we got some that are very mean, but that's within anything. But you know what I always find to be really strange and funny? Well, not funny, but you know what I mean. But when a CIS woman, that means a genetic born female, some of my females on here who may not know what I mean, but CIS means born female, not trans actually a female and a girl, you know what I mean. I always find it strange 
how her storyline is exactly like mine. You know, and uh, and I always feel like we shouldn't be comparing these things because you are a genetic female. You know, and I talk to a lot of my female friends and stuff like because you know I love women. I look listen. What I love, I have a problem with it. I love different. You know, like I get ridiculed because I like the, the guy who's gay, who's flamboyant, puts on lipstick and dresses a boy, we got on makeup and everything. I love that, but that's just me. And the reason why I love them kind of people that's flamboyant because they stand in the truth, they don't care. To me, that's a leader. That's just my opinion. And um, when it comes to females and stuff like that, you know, I love females and stuff because, you know, um, first of all, they're very strong. Second of all, they will pull you out of that box. They will grab you by your hand and take you through a lot of storms, which a lot of men won't. And that's why I love women, you know, and I always gonna love women until I die. Um, you know, I just love women. But my connection with a woman is totally different. And I'm not saying and I'm not saying every woman is a good one because some women are mean, you know, they go through our thing their things just like as trans, we go through our thing as well. So, you know, nothing is perfect, you know, it's just not a straight shooter. However, I just find it strange when I talk to a female and she's explaining her story that's exactly like ours. And I'm saying to myself, if men love women so much as they claim they do, then why is this woman's story my story? She shouldn't be saying this story. You know, and it's so sad because he'll beat her up. He calls her names. He don't want to be seen with her. He'll unlock the door. You know, and the thing about it is that the disrespect is just like, wow. You know, and I'm not saying it's just men, because I know women do mean things to men too, so I'm not going to make this a bashing men video, but I just always find it weird, you know, how we're sharing stories that are just alike. And all my females out there, do you find it weird that we're sharing stories and you're saying this, so who is messing with these girls, you know, and, you know, they know what they are, so why are they messing with them, and why are heterosexual? men are messing with these trans because a lot of them clearly are you know and I understand living that living but it's just so confusing to me you know but it is what it is and you know I don't really care you know if you like what you like and stuff like that but you know I just I just find it amazing I saw a video reference to a transsexual woman who had a boyfriend and the thing about it was that you know he was standing true and he was, he was like one of many that I've ever saw who stood out there, really nice looking guy and girlfriend, you know. I was, I find it very amazing. You know, and I'd go downstairs, you know, and I'd meet guys and stuff, and I'd watch them hide behind the door, because they didn't want anybody to see me. Unlock the door, I don't want to see you. I don't want to do anybody be in your hallway. I don't want anybody to see me, you know, being around you or seeing you. Or they'll be standing there and they'll see somebody walk up. And they'll see me walking towards the door and they'll see someone up and they'll go. And all of a sudden I watch them walk off. Because they don't want to be seen with me. They'll be like, yo, um, you know, um, where did you go? You know, you just... Let me ask you this. Have you ever watched somebody walk off to try to play off the fact that they know you? To act like they don't know you? Like they'll walk past you? Like they'll... Like, you know, when you're going downstairs, the weather kids me let them in or see you, they'll like act like they don't see you and they'll try to act like you're not supposed to see what they're doing and you look right in their face. You know, it's amazing. And even guys on this channel has hit me up, asked to come see me, who I've been with before. I watched them do it. I gave them the business, but you know, you know, it's, it's, it's just amazing. You know, my whole thing is, why do you take out so much time just to hurt somebody if it ain't what you want? Don't mess with it, but, you know, I don't know, it is what it is, but I guess it's just, just think, think your life, you know, it is what it is, and I don't know, I guess the life things will all make sense one day, you know, but I'm out the game myself, you know, because I don't want to be bothered with it, and I'm just over it, and then when you do find a man, he's cheating, or he's a chaser, he's chasing me, he wants to get in your friend list to chase you. He wants to be in my friend to chase everybody else. And help, you got some girls in there. And if a guy cute enough with long hair, and he's in that too. And, you know, it's just crazy, you know. I just find it amazing that when a CS woman shares stories that is exactly like a transgender woman. You know, sad. We should be more appreciated, but it is what it is, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I just find it really weird. You go through all these procedures to live the life as a woman just to be called the man. Everything goes back to being him. Go to the doctor, goes back to him. 
in order to get your prostate state glands test, you know, because you have to go inside that, you know, that boo-boo to test the glands out to make sure you don't care. You know, it always goes back to him, no matter what you do. It always goes back to him. I just noticed that over and over and over, everything you do as a trans woman, it always goes back to him. And when I see him, I mean the boy he was before, as far as anatomy, because I don't want girls to like, oh, I was never that, I get that, we're not on that right now. But you know what I'm saying. Um, the one, you know, it always goes back to him. And when I say that, it just does, you know, when you transition, it goes back to, well, I was once this. It always goes back, unless you can hold your secret, no, and hopefully no one never finds out, you know, who you was, or bump into somebody who could whisper to tell. Because people are eagerly to tell, you know, your story, your journey. You know, but it always goes back to him. You go to a doctor, it goes back to him. They have to take your glands as far as, you know, inside for cancer and stuff like that. Because your anatomy in the inside is still male, you know. And even when you transition and stuff, you still don't, you may not have the, um, you know, the penis, but the body still is like male. You know, you don't have the reproduction. So I understand people, I understand we're working on that. I get it. But I'm not there right now, so just work with me for the people who just gonna come with me. <laughs> you know the dumb dumb <laughs> Anyway, you know, I'm just saying it always goes back to him. You got always got somebody who wanna remind you. It always goes back to him. I go to the doctor, it always goes back to him. You go get a job, it always goes back to him. It always goes back to him. You meet a man, you wanna fall in love, you wanna get married, it goes back to some girls on town. Look, some girls on town. They take it all the way to the wedding day and they just you know, but it always goes back to him. No matter what you do, it seems like it always goes back to him. So why do so much transition? I don't know. I don't know. But then again, <laughs> you get your life, honey. But you, you know, it's just so funny because so many times you ask yourself, I meet a man, I fall in love with him, and, and you know, and it's like it always goes back to him because eventually he starts doing things that's very gay. And as a girl, you don't share, you know, some girls get their prick on this don't say nothing, but, you know, but, you know, it always goes back to eventually he wants you to do certain things to him, and you keep your mouth closed because you don't want people to disrespect your man, you know, and they to know you're on top of him, rotting him like you're on a Sunday kid. <laughs> it's not funny, but it is what it is. I know some girls are like, oh, you make, um, being trans about sex. I'm so sick of hearing that. You make it being trans and sexual thing. It's not a sex. I get that. I'm not saying that. Because being trans is not about sex. It's not. But to everybody else, it is. It's about sex. You know. And not everybody. You know. But anyway. Just be happy. I just want to share that part with you. It always goes back to him. No matter what you do, it always goes back to him. You go to the doctor, it always goes back to him. You have to tell them. In order to get in order to get healed, it goes back to him. You know, and job, it goes back to him. It always goes back to him. I always find it amazing though when a trans man get called the woman, he don't get that upset. But when a trans woman get called the man, oh my god. <laughs> Mother be trying to kick, take it, take take you out. Anyway, the being said, I just want to highlight you on this Thursday and stuff like that. Let you know I love you and I'm okay. And she said I did my opala. I'm not big on it, but it is what it is. Anyway, I just want to highlight you. Don't want to know. Have you ever noticed that the CIS women and cis women are sharing the same stories as us? And you ever noticed that everything we seem to do always goes back to who we was before? Anyway, the being said. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again.